Hey guys, um, I recently uh, came back from a uh, great vacation in Mexico. Um, we were huge fans of Mexico, and uh, so we, we've been a number of times. And, and I, I thought I'd, I took a few days before I decided to do this video because I just wanted to make sure that I, I just, it wasn't sour grapes, right? That I, I really did feel this way. And the, although we had a great vacation, you know, great weather, um, et cetera, et cetera, there, there really was a bad experience there, and one that I haven't actually experienced before in Mexico, but it really did remind me of something that we often talk about with with our business. Um, but it really did uh, it really did bring it to the forefront for me, and that is um, the onboarding experience or the the actual first contact that perhaps a, a new client has. Um, with you, with, with your team. And he, here's what happened to us. And the, the, we arrived at the airport, um, and like I say, we've been to Mexico several times, always been great. We arrived at the airport, uh, the person who was supposed to be picking us up um, was not there. Uh, we had, in fact, there was no one there from this particular company that we had hired to uh, pick us up. Um, there was a couple of people, other people who tried to help us. There was lots of other people at the airport there giving rides to the resorts. Um, but uh, we had booked this firm. We had actually paid for it. So, of course, we, that's who we wanted to use. And um, anyway, it, it took, it, we had a great deal of difficulty getting a hold of someone on the phone. Uh, we phoned our hotel. They tried to help us. And um, finally, we were able to reach someone. Uh, they said someone would be right over. Uh, one and a half hours later, one and a half hours standing at the airport uh, after a four and a half hour flight, um, someone showed up. Not really a sincere apology, but you know, oh yeah, sorry. Um, and so then they told us that the driver, we thought this person was the driver, the driver would be there in about another 15, 20 minutes. Um, as I'm sure you know, we were getting really uh, a little antsy at this point and also tired, irritable, etc. But not enjoying this uh, first contact uh, with these people. Um, and uh, anyway, uh, long story short, the driver shows up 15, 20 minutes. Then they try to charge us again. They want us to pay. We'd already paid. And he said, well, I'm sorry, we have no record of that. And I said, well, I'm sorry too. I said, um, I would actually just use common sense here. We have waited here for you at the airport for an hour and a half. If you look around, there are all these other people who would love to give us a ride to our resort. Why did we not just go with one of them? Why did we stand here for an hour and a half waiting for you? Could it be that perhaps we'd already paid and that's why we were waiting for you? Anyway, finally they agreed uh, reluctantly. Again, no big apology. No, you're sorry, sorry sir. You're probably right, etc. Uh, and finally, we ended up at the hotel. So my learning here and what it reminded me of was, you know, things don't always go right. I mean, even in our own onboarding process, right, when we bring a new client in, it doesn't always work out perfectly, um, even with the best of intentions. But the, 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 the point here, I think, is when it does go wrong, make it right. Um, give sincere apologies. Uh, tell the people how much you appreciate their business and you're really sorry that we had a problem. Um, and they will do everything to make sure that, you know, this doesn't happen again, et cetera, et cetera. There was none of that. Now, I don't necessarily blame the person who was there, uh, who actually finally met us at the airport. I blame the, their supervisors, the owners of the company. They didn't train them properly. Uh, the buck stops with them. Right, you have to have uh, make sure that your your team um, knows how to deal with this situation. Um, so here we were. We were so excited about going on this vacation. Um, we had a great time while we were there. Um, but all I kept thinking about, and I'm still thinking about it now, is 
this situation at the airport. Um, and so, it, it, like I say, it just reminded me in our own onboarding, think about, you know, how excited the, the new clients usually are, right, to join us. You know, new bookkeeping, we're going to get their books all caught up, we're going to create this ecosystem for them, um, and, you know, it's never going to have been better for them. They're really excited. Um, and so you need to make sure that the next step in that process, the onboarding, the first time they actually start meeting your team, doing business with you, make sure it's the very best experience it can possibly be for them. It is so critical to make sure that that um, adventure, if you will, that vacation that um, starts out as well as it can. Um, and if there is a little bump, if there is a hiccup, do everything in your power to make it right, to make the client feel wanted that, you know, we're sorry, we'll fix it, whatever you can do. Um, anyway, that's my, uh, my little rant. I mean, I'm not going to mention any names about uh, the, the companies because that's not the purpose of this. It's just it really did bring home to me again the importance. You can have the best sales and marketing in the world, you can have you know the best bookkeepers in the world, but that onboarding sequence, taking them from being sold and actually you start doing the work for them, that little bit in between that onboarding, make them feel special it really, really will change everything. So, uh, just thought I would share that with you. Hope you found some value. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Bye for now.